In this video, we're going to revert attributes back to their template in bulk using PyBuilder. In PySystem Explorer, there is an option to create and update data references for all elements. We can reset single attributes back to template by right-clicking on an attribute and resetting it to template. In PyBuilder, we can accomplish the bulk reset. Open the database Velocity Terminals to reset. Navigate to Elements, Velocity Terminals, Locations, Montreal, then Tank 01. You'll notice that in this database, some of the attributes have been altered from their template definition. Notice that many of the attributes under Tank 01 for Montreal are showing errors since the configuration strings have deviated away from the template definition. To complete the reset, open Excel and load the PyBuilder add-in. Ignore the product activation error. Be sure to set the database to Velocity Terminals to Reset. Select Elements and then Find Element Attributes. Enter search criteria needed for the relevant attributes. If you would like to load all attributes, leave everything blank and select OK. For this case, we're going to use Tank01 element under Montreal as our search route and then click Search. Ensure that the value and data reference under Attributes are selected in the next window, then select OK. Within the Excel workbook, press Control plus the letter A to select all items in the workbook. Then select the button Reset to Template. Now select Publish. In the Publish Options box, make sure that the Edit Mode is set to Edit Only. Once publishing is complete, close the screen. Navigate back to Montreal, Tank 01 in PySystem Explorer to verify the template has been reset. Refresh the screen. Although we reset the attributes of the template, it appears that the mass and density values have not updated. In resetting the template, we reset the product to null. Enter HC1500 for the product and refresh the screen. The density and mass should update. Note, use caution when using Reset to Template. This example is one situation to be aware of when resetting to template, as there was no default value in the template. In the product field, it is apparent the field needs to be updated. If we had a default value, how long would it have taken to determine the problem? 